according to torrent data. They said, I told them by Bono Boy, Climate Pledge Arena, settling 5,980, that is a 495,503 US dollars, Rogers Palace, 6,770, and that is a uh, uh, Bonobo made 450,000 US dollars. So, in case you do not really understand what they are trying to tell you, is that uh, Bono Boy is currently on tour, and uh, of course, uh, he decided to do arenas and stadium, no more small, small venues. So, he decided to do all arena all by himself. So uh, at the Climate Pledge Arena, Bono Boy wasn't able to sell out. He was able to sell 5,980 seats. That is like 58% of the arena. And he made 495,000 US dollars. Then uh, Rogers Palace, that is about... Uh, David, oh, uh, sorry. Bono Boy uh, sold 6,770 capacity. That is like 87%. And made four hundred fifty thousand US dollars from that uh, arena. Now I'm going to read uh, some a few comments coming from fans. Someone said the African music industry scene has never seen an artist like Bono Boy uh, being on tour for three years nonstop and still maintaining tour uh, striking overseas, even when some American artists are canceling their entire tour. A king. No sign of weakness. Then someone said, 5K ticket out, 18K, and in the pool sold out. After Atlantic collects their share, it will now get only 2K dollars. Thank you for exposing him, touring, touring data. Okay. Then the other person said, it can't sell out an arena. Someone said, if he sell 5K ticket out of 18K arena, uh, a TK Arena. I don't. I don't even want to know what he will be selling in those stadiums. It blew up in 2019 thanks to Kanye West and uh, Atlantic, and he now think he has arrived. Okay, Bono Boy was only able to sell out 5K ticket, 5,000 ticket out of 18,000. Ticket. So let me make this clear, guys. Mm -hmm. When Bono Boy announced that he was going on the tour, that he's not going to be doing small venues and will be doing arena only, of course, him himself and his team, they were expecting backflow, backflow from some of all those tours. But they never really intended canceling any show, any show because of no ticket sales. Because it's like canceling it is like okay, because sometimes you really don't really depend on making profit, you know. Sometimes you want to go to that to that city to show yourself, like to introduce yourself to that city, so that next time you are coming there, it might pay off and you will sell out their sell out their arenas. So we Nigerians shouldn't always make it. Don't only base it on an artist must be able to sell out a show. No. If you only depend on the things that you are familiar with, you won't grow. If you're only if you're only comfortable with this environment you are, you won't grow. You have to penetrate, you have to go to other places. Don't be afraid of the losses. And that's the respect I have for Bono Boy. Honestly. When he announced those tour dates, I knew for a fact that some of all those tours would be flop. But he's going to perform at those tours anyway. Because it's good to introduce yourself to new audience. And he's not only doing that for himself, he also is doing that for Afrobeat. This is the price. This is the price Afrobeat artists now have to pay. 
Same price Afrobeat artists then pay. Then so I made a claim. Remember, there was a time Bono Boy and Beyonce booked studio tour in Netherlands. On the same night, Bono Boy ticket sold out while Beyonce was yet to sell out a ticket. There was that time. So please, eh? Who saw respect for this name? Despite him not able to sell one tour or another tour or another show, sell out another show, doesn't mean it's not him. Bono Boy is him. And uh, as of now, he's kind of the biggest artist currently in uh, Africa. No? You cannot take that away from him. You no? Know? Biggest currently. You cannot take that away from me. Uh, based on saying you get fat doesn't mean that you know go check statistics. Who is selling out the most? Who is selling out the most record? Who has the best songs? Who has the best views on Instagram, on Spotify? The be the, the highest listener. So if you are, or if you are not following the trend or following those statistics, and you are still arguing blindly, we know. It's not all about argument. Too. They are all doing their individual stuff, which is great. But when it comes to that part of argument, I don't argue blindly. I argue with statistics. Hmm? It's actually trying. Another person that is trying currently that uh, was awarded uh, something recently was uh, Divido. His timeless album is ranked at 39 position on Billboard. The 50 best album of 2023 is the only Africa album on that list. 50 best album of 2023 and David O timeless album is the only Africa album on that 50 list. 39 position and honestly, obviously, guys, you know when uh, David O uh, album came out, I'm among I'm among those people that praise that album, and that album is dope. Really, really dope. It's, it's, it's just like David Doe really took time to work on that album and drop a masterpiece. You know? That album, I can just simply call it a masterpiece. So, he actually deserves whatever our credibility, whatever approval is getting currently. So, big up to David Doe for also holding it down. With his album Timeless. And according to Ewu Bilbo, they said, uh, before their accolades, the Grammy nominations, the Eddies Award, the festival slot, and the international tour, there was this, there was the music and and what they do achieves. But Timeless album truly live up to his acclaim, whether it's a joyous uh, love song like In the Garden. Okay, that is uh, just a little. Right on for my billboard. Big one. Big one to David O. And he's going to post about it though. You know, David O always like to post about his achievement, which is great. They allow your fans to know that you are doing great, that they are all achieving something with you. Well, there is this news that Bono Boy will be receiving his Bugatti worth 3.3 million US dollars. December 2023. We are still waiting for him because I already hyped David O. Bugatti up, you know. And uh, here is uh, firstly, here is uh, Bono Boy gifting international DJ cessation dope Caesar a whopping five million naira during a club show at Obi's house, one of Nigeria hottest Monday events. Five million ba. No, it's a giveaway season, guys. It's December. Giveaway, love is sitting here and everything. So, me, I'm still waiting for my own giveaway, man. At least I deserve a giveaway now from someone, 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 someone out there. Do me some giveaway. Five million baht. The money was handed over to, to the DJ by Poko Lee himself. Five million baht. And Poko Lee also dropped him. Drop your own. So when it comes to that uh, Bono Boy Bugatti, hmm? see, 
But that boy, if that Bugatti no call, and I mean, I mean, I go there more the people may go really laugh you. But Bugatti or no Bugatti, though, but that boy get money. If you laugh at all, you know, laugh at all. The man still get money. Your laugh will not change nothing. Your life will not remove anything from him. The money is still there. Eh? So I'm just joking when they say, uh, I'm joking when I said I'm going to blast him. I'm not blasting him shit. 